सो टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग मैथ्स पार्ट टू फर्स्ट चैप्टर सो दिस इज द डिफरेंशिएशन ओके सो इन द डिफरेंशिएशन देयर आर डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सो देयर आर डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ कंपोजिट फंक्शंस देन डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ इनवर्स फंक्शंस डेरिवेटिव ऑफ इंप्लिसिट फंक्शंस देन देयर इज हायर ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव्स then uh, geometrical meaning of derivative then uh, logarithmic der uh, differentiation and uh, derivatives of parametric functions okay yeah so so before that switching to the composite functions uh, first we have to know the derivatives of standard functions so yesterday we have seen the two tables so that we have to remember so yes. using that uh, we can um, start solving the composite functions so first uh, revise this so if we have to find out the derivative of constant that is zero if uh, any functions in the power for example x raised to n then its derivative is n x raised to n minus 1 if Uh, there is a numerator and denominator for example 1 upon x then its uh, differentiation is minus 1 upon x square same like uh, x raised to n if that x raised to n in the denominator then its differentiation is uh, minus n divided by x raised to n plus 1 so here is power is different instead of plus 1 there is minus uh, minus 1 plus 1 is there getting yes 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 then under root of x its differentiation is 1 upon 2 under root x then for trigonometric functions sin's different is cos and cos differentiation is minus sin then tan its sec square x then for sec sec x tan x cosec x minus cosec x cot x then cot x minus cosec square x so that we need to remember so that is the vice versa but just hmm. sign is uh, there is we have to take care of that sign when there is plus when there is minus okay then for exponential e raised to x it is same e raised then, to x yeah then a raised to x a raised to x into log a then log of x it is 1 upon x and last log of x to the base a its differentiation is 1 upon x log a getting yeah so we have to remember this table you can make a chart or anything and uh, you can um, stick on the wall and you have to remember this so okay. if, yeah if you remember this then we can easily solve next problems okay okay yeah so let's move then yesterday also we have seen rules of differentiation yeah we saw this yeah so there are three rules are there for addition subtraction multiplication and third is for division so for composite functions they have given uh, one uh, theorem related to that okay so here we can see the theorem for example we have to find out the uh, differentiation of under root of x or log of sin of x square plus 5 or e raised to tan x then this is a composite function so isme do yeah. functions hai ek uh, square root bhi hai aur uske andar ek x bhi hai that is the term log bhi yeah. hai or in uh, inside log there is sin also we have to compute okay. then exponential bhi hai aur trigonometric bhi hai so do functions combine hai to usko bolte composite 
that is the okay. function of another function hmm. so directly applying the standard uh, differentiation formula we can't find that so for yeah. that uh, there is another formula they have derived that is dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx okay. are you getting this so yeah, we are yeah. not going the inside the proof how that they have derived but like this we have to any functions they have given for example y is equal to um, a raised to x a raised to uh, tan x then we have to put tan x as u and then we have to find out first dy by du and then we have to find out the du by dx and multiplying both the answers we will get the differentiation are you getting yeah so like this we are going to solve this differentiation of composite functions so for composite functions they have given uh the same standard functions but in uh, they have written in terms of f of x because we are treating whatever the standard function they we are getting as y it is a f of x in terms of x kyunki waha abhi x nahi rahega x ke terms rahenge se x square plus 9 or anything so this whole we have to treat as a f of x samajh mein aa raha hai yeah hmm to humne pehle dekha tha ki kya x raised to n uska derivative kya hota hai x n x raised to n minus 1 right yeah so same they have written for f of x f of x raised to n so its derivative is n into f of x raised to n minus 1 abhi f of x mein sirf x nahi hai तो लास्ट में हमें जो एफ ऑफ एक्स है उसका भी डेरिवेटिव निकालना होगा तो उसको हम डैश डैश से रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स सो दिस इज द न्यू फॉर्म्यूला फॉर एनी पावर रेस्ट टू यन देन वी आई वी हैव टू यूज दिस फॉर्म्यूला गेटिंग या देन सेम इफ एनी फंक्शन इन द अंडर रूट देन वी हैव टू यूज दिस फॉर्म्यूला एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टू under root of f of x just we are replacing x by f of x and x derivative is 1 so that's why in the previous chart when we see there is no f dash of x right have you hmm. remember mm. yeah there is no f dash x yeah so like here you can see there is no f dash of x why because it's only terms of x so x derivative is 1 have you know that yeah if y is equal to x then we have to find out dy by dx differentiation in terms of uh, x then x derivative will be 1 so that's why we are not multiplying with f dash of x hmm. there is no necessary in the standard function but in composite functions we are not getting x we are getting x cube plus 9 so now x cube of 9 a derivative is not only x it will be 3x square right x cube plus 9 3x square yes yeah, yeah so that's why we are multiplying in composite functions are you getting this yeah simple change so like that they have changed the all the formulas in terms of f of x just instead of instead of x they have written the f of x and adding the f dash of x in every formula multiplying it basically ha ah, multiply yeah hmm are you getting so like this yeah. all the formulas are changed that concept is same sin's uh, derivative is cos only but written in uh, in the term of f of x cos derivative is minus sin but written in terms of f of x previously we have written in terms of x only tan is sec square x same sec is sec x tan x so 
instead uh, in terms of f of x it will be sec of f of x into tan of f of x and lastly the derivative of f of x f dash of x are you getting yeah getting yeah so same uh, that two tables are converted in terms of f f of x then yesterday we have solved few problems uh, related to the composite functions have you remember that yeah i do remember yeah so if we have to uh, differentiate why uh, they have given it as a under root of x square plus 5 then we can solve it using a uh, two methods method 1 and method 2 in method 1 uh, whatever the part inside the square root we are treat it as a u okay if we hmm. treat x square plus y x square uh, plus 5 as a u then y becomes y is equal to under root of u right are you getting yeah getting then we are using this uh, composite function differentiation and then we are solving this so this is the first method so how they have solved uh, let me share the whiteboard and explain in detail first method so whatever method uh, in which you feel comfortable you can use that okay hmm so let me open one note whiteboard is visible for you whiteboard is visible yeah okay uh, instead of whiteboard we can use uh, one note so that uh, all the notes will be in the one place so let me log in through the code So can you see this one note? Ah, uh, one note I can see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So differentiation. So first problem we are solving. So what is the question? we have to find the difference root x square plus 5 yes y is equal to under root of x square plus 5 so how we are solving just put x square plus 5 as u okay hmm so when we put here the y becomes under root of u right yeah so we differentiate with respect to u, u. only yeah so it will become dy by du then what is the differentiation of under root 
of uh, uh, one by root two u. Yeah, so it will become uh, one by two, one by two root root and u, right? U. Yeah. So this is the first part we are getting. So we are calling it as of equation one. Till this you are getting? Yeah. Yeah. Then next. Again, we are differentiating with respect to X. So. How we are doing that? Let again go to the one note. Our Y is. Now we have to find out the du by dx. What do you have to find out? Du, du by, by dx. Mm -hmm. So how uh, we can find out? We have to differentiate x squared plus 5, which is uh, 2x. Yeah, d of dx, that is x squared plus 5. So now tell me, what is the answer? Uh, 2x. 2x correct so this is the second one so now we know that formula dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx right yeah then we are putting that uh, two values so what is the first value one upon What was that? 1 two. upon uh, 2 into root of, x, uh, root of x square plus 5. Yeah. x square plus 5 into 2x, right? Hmm. And 2 to get cancelled and our answer will be x upon x square plus 5. So this is the final answer using first method. Are you getting this? Yeah, yeah, getting it. Yeah. Then second method. In that there are less steps are there. So let's again. Yeah. So this is the second method. So in second method, they have taken uh, the given data y is equal to x square plus 5. Then directly, instead of differentiating with du, they are differentiating with respect of x. x. So they are getting it as a 1 upon 2 under root of x square plus 5 and here is no only x, x square plus 5. So again, they are differentiating with respect to that function f of x. So f of x here is x square plus 5. So its derivative is 2x. Then 2 to get cancel and same answer we are getting as of first method. Getting? Yeah, getting it. So which method uh, you feel... Uh, in which you second one is easier because it's shorter as well yeah yeah so whatever uh, the method you feel comfortable you can use that for from second yeah. problem onwards so second problem related to the uh, combination of trigonometric and logarithmic functions so let's jump to that So what is the problem? Y is equal to sine of log x. Yeah, y is equal to sine of log x. Log x. So we have to differentiate with respect to x. X. Because we are using second method. So now tell mm. me, 
dy by dx will be dy by dx is dy by du upon du by dx. No, but we are not using the du method, na? We are directly differentiating uh, with respect to x. Okay, so, fine. Then in that case, uh, let me see. We have cos of log x into 1 upon x. Correct. So, sine's uh, differentiation is cos. So, we are writing cos in bracket same log x. We are treating it as x only. So log of co uh, uh, cos of log of x into differentiation of log, of log x. x. So like this stepwise we are writing. Then yeah. cos of log same. Then differentiation of log of x 1 by. What is x. the answer? Yes. So we are getting answer as dy by dx is equal to cos of log of x upon x. So this is the final answer. Yeah. Understood. Next, y is equal to e raised to tan, tan x. x. So let's solve this also. Third one, y is equal to e raised to tan of x. Now tell me, dy by dx. dy by dx is e of tan x into sec square x. Yeah. Tan x e and in differentiation, of, differentiation tan of tan x. Yeah, so that is sec square. X. x then next fourth one what is fourth one fourth question huh? um log of x raised to 5 plus 4 yeah so let's solve this y is equal to log of x raised to 5 plus 4 so now tell me dy by dx dy by dx uh that is differentiation differentiation of x raised to 5 upon x raised to 5 plus 4 upon uh x raised to 5 plus 4 so that's 5 uh, 5x five raised to 4 upon x raised to 5 plus 4 by the formula mm -hmm. so what is the differentiation of log of x log of x or log of f of x ha huh, wait same Log of f of uh, x. Log of f of x is f f dash x upon f of x. Yeah. So first we are writing uh, it as a f of x in the bottom. So x raised to 5 plus 4. Are you getting this first f? Getting it. Hmm. And in the numerator, we are doing a derivative of whatever inside the logarithmic. So log in that x raised to 5 plus 4. So what is the differentiation of x raised to 5 plus 4? 5x raised to 4. Yeah. So like this, we are getting that answer. Are you getting? Getting it. Next, fifth one. Fifth question. Uh, 5 raised to 3 cos x minus 2. Yeah. So let's solve this. y is equal to 5 uh, 5 3 5 raised to 3 cos x hmm. minus 2 that's minus, the question yeah so hmm. we are differentiating with respect to x so now uh, that, can you tell me which uh, formula we can use here for differentiation a raised to f of x formula. That is a raised to f of x into log a into f dash x. Correct. So, tell me. So, that is 
फाइव रेस टू थ्री कॉस एक्स माइनस टू इंटू लॉग फाइव इंटू डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ थ्री कॉस एक्स माइनस टू करेक्ट सो आई एम राइटिंग इज एट दिट इज लॉग ऑफ फाइव इंटू डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ थ्री कॉस एक्स माइनस टू डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ थ्री कॉस एक्स माइनस टू सो फर्स्ट टू एज इट इज into log of five it is not in the numerator into log of five into so what is the differentiation of 3 cos x minus 2 that will just be minus 3 sin x and nothing about the 2 that will be zero so minus yes. 3 sin x so are you getting this yeah so same answer they are getting right yeah then next the next question uh 3 upon 2x square minus 7 whole raised to 5 yeah but uh, before that what, what is the top of that uh, there is fourth that's the fourth there. question okay 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 hmm. uh so let's solve six question Hmm. Ah, uh, so that is the the formula what used for is what is y? Three upon hmm two x square minus seven whole raised to five. Okay, so which formula we can use here? Ah, uh, one upon f of x raised to n. Correct. So. Tell me. So in this case, we uh, differentiate three of um we that is first we differentiate three of uh three upon two x square minus seven whole raised to five dy mm -hmm. by dx. Hmm. And to make it simpler, we can take the three out and we can multiply it with the. Uh, One of three d by dx into one upon two x square minus seven whole raised to five. Okay. Yeah. So first we'll do that, or we'll go on and we'll finish the whole sum. Correct. Okay. So um, fine. So that's. Three d by dx one one upon two x square minus seven raised to five, and then after differentiating that we multiply it with differentiation of two x square minus seven. Correct. So let me first uh, add this function as it is three two uh, x square minus seven raised to five. Okay. So mm. we are taking three as a common. Outside, and then we are differentiating. So now tell me, uh, what will be the answer of under root of uh, one upon two uh, x square minus seven raised to five? So what will be the differentiation? No wait. So first three into uh, differentiation of one upon two x square minus seven whole raised to five. Hmm. So by the formula that will be. Um, Yeah, by the formula that we use, it will be minus five upon two x square minus seven whole raised to uh, five plus one is six. Yeah. Hmm. And then we multiply that with the differentiation of two x square minus seven, so that is four uh, x. Two x square minus seven. Okay. Yeah. Then. Uh, can we multiply minus... three into yeah? Yeah, so that is minus fifteen into four x upon two x square minus seven whole raised to six. Minus fifteen upon uh two x square minus seven raised to six into what is the differentiation? Two x square minus seven. Ah, four x. Four x. So what is the final answer? 
minus 60x upon 2x square minus 7 whole raised to 6. 2x square minus 7 raised to 6. Are you getting this? Yes. Next. Exercise second in that we have to find out y is equal to under root of sin x power 3. Yes. Yeah. So how we are going to solve this? Can you tell any hint? We solve it the same way we did the previous uh, the first question. So that is the previous uh, question and the first question in the previous exercise. So that is one upon two root of sine x cube into d by dx of sine x cube. Correct. So let's try to solve this. Second question in that first. So what is y? Under root of? Sine x cube. Sine x cube. So differentiate with respect to x. So now tell me what will happen? Uh, one upon two is one upon two root sine x cube. Hmm. Into d by dx of sine x cube. Okay, next step. 1 upon 2 raised to sin x cube hmm. into cos x cube hmm. into 3x square differentiation into d by dx of 3x cube. That yeah. is 3x square. Are you getting this? How this uh, 3x square uh, comes into picture? Yeah, that's because it's not just x, it's more than that, right? Yeah. It's x cube. Yeah. yeah. If it was sine 3x, would we have to differentiate it like this again or could we just uh, yeah, leave it at... Yeah, because uh, x uh, differentiation is 1 only, but 3x differentiation is 3. So that hmm. uh, will be multiplied by 3. Okay. So what is the final answer? Final answer is 3x square cos x hmm. into, into cos, 2 cos to the power, power x, 3. Power x cube. Yes, my bad. Um, upon 2 raised to sine uh, 2 power 2 root sine x cube. Yes. So it is same like this? Yeah. Uh, so our meeting will be end within 3 minutes. Uh, so we can join again. I will uh, okay, uh, start same meeting or uh, I will share a new meeting if it will not allow. Start the same one. Start the same. No, if Zoom will uh, not allow to start same one, then I will create new meeting and will share on the WhatsApp. Okay. Hmm. So getting same answer they are getting. Hmm. Then second one. So we will uh, solve within two minutes. So cos square in bracket. Cot square x cube, yeah. Hmm. So let's second one y is equal to cot square in bracket x. The so cot square, so not cos square. Cot, okay, cot. Cot square in bracket x cube. X cube. So how we can solve this differentiation with respect to x, then uh, 2 cot into x cube into d by dx of x cube, uh, into d by dx of cot x, uh, cot x cube. Okay. So we are uh, treating uh, the cot as a x raised to power. So we are writing 2 cot x and... cube because there's a Mm -hmm. part. Okay. Into d by dx of cot x cube. d by dx of 
cot x cube. Okay, next step. So that is uh, d uh, two cot x cube. Hmm. Into into minus cosec x cosec square x cube into three x square. That like the previous sum, we're differentiating both uh, cot x cube and x cube and multiplying hmm. that. So into three uh, x square. Okay. So what will the so final... the final answer will be minus six x square cot x cube cosec x cosec square x cube. Cosec square x cube, right? So we yeah. can don't write no need to write multiplication. Yeah. Just this is the same one. Any doubt in this? No doubt. No doubt. Okay. So we will start after like this meeting.